Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you all are safe and well. Today we have a brand new German Shepherd that just came into the Upstate Canine Academy. She's a young dog, less than a year, I think seven, eight months. Um, she's good with people, but she has a real hard time meeting new dogs. She barks at them, she's reactive, she's very nervous, she's very fearful. So today I'm gonna bring you over to the facility and I wanna walk you through the process of what I would do. And Lakota thinks that, Lakota, what do you think we're doing? She thinks that we're gonna go uh, play. Maybe we will. What do you think, girl? Anyway, let's go guys. Hello. All right, guys, back here at the facility, and uh, let's get Stella out. You guys can look, Stella's sleeping. All right, you guys, this is Stella. She's a very sweet girl. Um, she just needs a little bit of guidance. So um, today what I want to do is I, I want to walk you through the process, play by play, of what all this, what all this means. She's actually barking at, uh, my dog's on the other side of the fence right now. So if you look, you'll see uh, Hawk and Lakota are over here. So that's what she's barking at. But I wanna give you guys a play-by-play -play on not necessarily how to introduce another dog. Um, I've already done that video. This is gonna be play-by-play -play on like what these things mean. Why is she barking? Uh, potentially, why is she doing X, Y, and Z? And I wanna just give you a play-by-play opinion on what's going on with a dog like this. Like as you can see now, she's like, get me out of here. She's just insecure. So the first dog I wanna grab is Leia. You guys probably know Leia actually, um, because she was a dog that we did earlier last week. She was the dog that was hit by a car in Egypt and broke her hips and she had surgery and now she's here. So she's a dog that kind of has similar issues as far as confidence and a little bit of a skeptic or suspicion about other dogs and other people. So I'm gonna bring her out first and see how they do and again, Hi, baby. Hi. Enjoy one great song after another on So lots of love, good body language. Love all that. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good. So Stella's actually doing way better than I thought. Um, <laughs> she's definitely, good job guys. And see, I'm gonna take the leash off and then add Hawk to the mix and see how Hawk, uh, and again, I just wanna like trial and error to see what's gonna work with Stella, because that's our job is, the owners really wanna know, because she is kind of reactive sometimes to certain dogs. So Hawk's barking on the other side. We'll get Hawk in here and see what happens. First coffee, eh? Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, so they're all getting to know each other a little bit. Hawk's hackles are going up a little bit. Good job, guys. Good job. So a little too much from Hawk. So now that Hawk's in the mix, you're gonna see a change in this dynamic between the two insecure dogs. Now they're both over here because Hawk is a little too overbearing. But as you can see, three's company in this pack. And we have a daycare here. We're in our daycare yard here. And canine, be look, I want, you, I want you guys to see what uh, Leia's doing over here. What you doing, baby? You nervous? Come on. So again, like just going over behavior, so many times people uh, will get a dog and you'll add one dog to the mix. And as you guys just saw, adding Hawk to the mix completely changed the dynamic of these guys playing. And I think a lot of times people will say like, what is it about a certain dog that, my Corona hair is crazy right now. What is it about a certain dog that deters the other dogs away from playing? Like, as you guys can see, obviously like Hawk is now over there on the other side. And now we have these two playing again. So I do get a lot of questions about canine behavior. What makes packs successful and what doesn't? So if you watch here, you have Stella and you have Hawk kind of getting into play again, and then Leia on the outskirts. 
Zalea is not as confident when there's Hawk involved. So, so see, Zalea's going and hanging out over here. It, I just love watching this stuff and that's why I thought, I'm gonna keep cycling dogs in to give you guys like a look on like what's happening and why. Cause this is like how I got into working with dogs is I would watch packs of wolves at wolf sanctuaries in Colorado and I would stay on the, on the mountain in the middle of nowhere um, and watch and study and just watch how things happen. And uh, this is just like a first part of the series that I wanted to do. Uh, I asked you guys before if you guys wanted to see my daycare pack and how they interact and kind of walk you through what happens and why and why dogs do certain things. Um, I love this stuff more than anything. Um, I've just figured I'd bring the camera along and sh show you guys kind of what's registering in my head. Um, Cause like you see here, these guys are having a good time. These guys are uh, wagging their tails and wagging your tail doesn't always mean they're happy, but this, this kind of tail wag means they're happy. Stella's confident, she's following Hawk around. Um, she's checking in with Leia, of course, her other buddy, here she goes. She's gonna come over here and see what's going on. And she's gonna comfort Leia and say like, hey, what's, what, what happened? And Leia, of course, is gonna feel a little bit insecure. Now she'll start coming out but as soon as Hawk enters the picture again and comes closer, she's gonna go back into this little cave um, that she's in here. So anyway, so I'm gonna keep cycling dogs through. If you guys like this content and you wanna learn more about canine behavior, pack mentality, why dogs do certain things, let me know in the comments below. This is something I've never done before. This is new, um, but I love it. And I, I, I can't say it enough. I've said it like 16 look times. Look here guys, like look, Hawk is kind of you know, Leia's getting in the corner and being a little nervous. One question I get often is, when do you step in as a dog person, as a dog handler, trainer, owner, whatever it is? <laughs> these, guys, these guys are funny. When do you step in? When is the appropriate time? And is there appropriate time for you to step in and kind of intervene? And like in this case, like, this is so great because look, Hawk was down, Leia felt comfortable, started walking out, and then Hawk stood up and Leia backed up. So this is all really cool stuff to just watch and learn. But anyway, so when is that appropriate time? Well, like in this case, like when Hawk had Leia and Leia was kind of like scratching back into the corner and I'll replay it above, that's when I kind of just stepped in and just poked Hawk to just intervene and uh, just say like, hey, let, let's go this way. So it's kind of like helping. And the interesting thing is Leia wants to play a little bit. You can tell because Hawk is being so playful and being goofy. Um, that's why I picked Hawk because he's an intact goofy male. A lot of intact males don't do this whole roll around expose your belly type thing, but he does. And then as soon as they go neutral, Leia starts coming out. So it's so interesting. I, I absolutely love this stuff so much. But um, so anyway, so like that would be a case like if she's running around like see she just she just did play and then Leia's playing now back to Hawk. And then Leia's like, yeah, Hawk's involved, I'm out of here. Now Leia's trying, Leia's trying to get in. So now Leia, so this is cool. So now Leia is actually starting to get a little bit more confident as things kind of go along. Now I'm gonna grab one of our other board and trains, Atlas, throw him into the mix and see what happens to the dogs. What do they do? How do they do it? Um, I'm going to take a guess and say Atlas is very, very, very high strung. Um, he's also one of our board and trains. Um, very high strung, another like under a year old dog male um very very excitable tons of energy um none of these dogs will be able to match his energy but it's going to be interesting because i have a feeling that atlas is going to be all over hawk and then oh leia's going good girl yep, nope she's back <laughs> i have a feeling atlas is going to be all over hawk and then hawk is going to um play dominant man oh, this is so cute look at leia she's like please let me play i'll bring him out and oh look okay. So Hawk is doing exactly what I thought he was gonna do. And uh, that's pretty normal for Atlas because Atlas is very explosive. Then you have these two dogs over here, uh, St Stella and then Leia. 
are over here and they are kind of like watching this happen because they don't know how to handle this type of stuff. And so, like I said before, Atlas is very explosive. Hawk is basically policing him. So all you're hearing and you're hearing these snaps and you're watching them play. All of this is very natural, normal canine behavior. I trust Hawk, I, tr I trust Atlas. And so don't try this at home, but what you're watching is, is Hawk is basically telling Atlas like, dude, you need to chill, right? And Leia, of course, is in the corner. If you guys watch, don't feel, trust me, do not feel bad for Atlas. As soon as Hawk gets off Atlas, Atlas completely chases Hawk around. These guys are having a good time. And so this is the interesting thing, is if you don't know canine behavior, and it's something that you don't literally spend your whole life with, you're gonna look at this and go, holy crap, I can't believe this Malinois is going crazy on this dog. First of all, Atlas is giving it right back. Second of all, Atlas is a very young dog that is very vocal and dramatic. Dogs are so primal and so instinctual and so rough and so clear, if you ask me, all this is very clear canine behavior. As you can see, like Stella is like, what the hell, how do I, how do I play? Leia is like, how do I get out of here? This is too much. And so I'm keeping them away from Leia, but these three are trying to figure each other out. But because you have Hawk and Mr. Atlas just going ham with each other, see, as soon as, as, soon as Hawk calms down a little bit, Atlas gets him fired right back up. It's my coffee. <laughs> how natural it is for them to correct each other, roll around, be rough, be animals. They're rough. They kill things for fun, bunnies, rabbits, mice, anything that you think is cute, they will kill and eat. Um, anything you think is gross, they will roll in it and eat in it. I don't think dog owners get a fair chance of like letting dogs be dogs and seeing like how they play. It's almost like two young kids starting to like play in roughhouse and run around and then parents just constantly being like, hey, stop roughhousing, stop playing. And they're just like, we're just playing football. We're just doing this, we're doing that. That's basically what these guys are doing. It's just, there's a lot of vocalization. Um, and I think it becomes scary for dog owners and then they don't let dogs correct each other. They don't let dogs communicate. Uh, it builds a lot of frustration, uh, which then could lead to reactivity, which then could lead to aggression and so on and so on and so forth. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and sane. Um, this is something new for me, um, but I did ask you guys in the community post in YouTube if you guys wanted to see more um, daycare stuff, which is this is kind of what it would be like, except times 30. Um, so if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more about canine behavior and doing a little bit more stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Um, this has been a lot of fun. This is, this is what I do. This is like uh, when the times I'm not training, I'm doing this. I'm constantly like out here uh, working with dogs, watching dogs, studying dogs. Uh, having the opportunity to get to know the dogs a little bit better. And um, like I said, so many dog owners come in and they're like, oh, I don't wanna like punish my dog or won't that like hurt my, I'm like, are you kidding me? Do you know, do you know what dogs do to each other and how hard they play and people just don't know. And so really this video was to create content for you guys to just see how dogs interact with each other and communicate on a like absolute minute, second by second basis. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know if you wanna see more of this. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any opportunities to win some cool stuff. And I appreciate you guys. I will talk to you next time.